Hi everyone. Um, now, a few videos ago, I spoke about Gamblers Anonymous, um, and I think the, title, the, um, the video was entitled something like "Why I Dislike Gamblers Anonymous" or "Why I Don't Like Gamblers Anonymous," or something similar to that. Um, and I basically explained why I didn't use Gamblers Anonymous as part of my recovery, um, why I didn't really believe in their methodology, why I didn't believe in their mantra. Um, I quoted the sort of the religious connotations. I quoted um, the twelve steps and. Another bits and pieces that I didn't think, for me, would be a part of my successful recovery because I didn't buy into them. Um, I actually had a little bit of backlash from it, um, from a couple of, of different, um, who I presume are sort of members of, of GA, and so I just wanted to sort of clarify that really. Um, firstly, I did say in the video um, that I, I don't have any issue with, with GA as, as, a, as an organisation. Um, in fact, actually, I said that you know there is no doubt in my mind that GA has helped a, a lot of people, um, and it's possibly even saved a fair few lives. Um, you know, in the sort of many many years it's been going, uh, I did state that for some people it's it's likely to work, and that if you have found yourself relapsing with your gambling or sort of repeatedly, or you've never really been able to go beyond a certain point of your recovery without relapsing and you haven't given GA a try, I did say, maybe give it a try, because different things work for different people. Um, and that was that was kind of the point of the video, was that actually I had determined that GA, for various reasons, if you want to watch the video, I'll link it below, I'll stick a, a tag up here somewhere or something. Um, yeah, that if, you know, I decided that it wasn't a, a suitable part of my recovery for various reasons. Now I can see lots of benefits in GA, particularly if you are someone who is quitting gambling and doesn't have uh, much of a support network around you. One of the, the points um, one of the people made, actually you'll probably be able to see the comment, it's below the original video, um, was that actually they don't just talk about gambling, because I, I made the point that if I'm trying to recover from gambling, then sitting around and listening to other people's gambling stories may not be particularly beneficial to me. Um, and their point was, quite reasonably, that they don't just talk about gambling. You know, they talk about each other's situations and, you know, problems in their life which may trigger gambling. And, and I get, if you're someone who doesn't have a, a much of a support network around you, if you don't have many people to talk to, then that could be really, really beneficial. Um, now, I speak to my wife, to my friends, to my family. I'm quite fortunate in that respect, in the fact that I have a good number of people around me who care about me, who I can talk to about, not just about the gambling, but about other things in my life which could cause me stress or could be triggers for that, that escapism, that, you know, that release that, that gambling might give you. Um, I'm also not lucky in so much as that actually I did that myself, in that I actually went out of my way to speak to all these people anyway, and to talk to these people about my, my gambling, and that's very much part of my recovery, and that was what I've said in, in previous videos, one of the biggest things I did was talk to people. Uh, and that is something that maybe GA gives you. If you don't have those people around you, you can talk to. Um, so my point was, wasn't that GA is terrible and, and because it's got religious undertones and all the rest of it, um, you know, it, 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 it should be ignored. It shouldn't be ignored. Certainly, like I say, if you've tried lots of different ways of quitting gambling and you've never succeeded, but you haven't tried GA, then you've got nothing to lose by trying GA. It wasn't a criticism either of the people who go to GA. You know, they're all people who are in the same boat as we are. My point was entirely that it wasn't. It wasn't for me. I didn't. I didn't buy into the higher power. I didn't buy into the religious connotations. Um, and you know, I didn't think the group therapy would necessarily be the most beneficial for me. So. You know, that's the reason I said I didn't personally like GA and why I didn't adopt it as part of my recovery. But that's not to say that it, it, you know, it can't work. But those, to those people who criticise me for, for saying, speaking out and saying that I don't like GA, well, surely, you know, GA isn't the only way. You know, there are other methods of recovery which are perfectly feasible. You know, I am at four months and whatever days now, um, completely gamble free without GA. Now, that's not you know, a mega amount of time in the grand scheme of things, but it's the longest I've ever been gamble free, and it's without GA, so GA isn't the only way. And this attitude that, you know, oh, well, you can't succeed without using Gamblers Anonymous, um, to me isn't, isn't helpful, because there are other ways. I am here to share my experiences, my methods, what I've done to 
helped me remain abstinent for this period of time. Um, but other things, different things have worked for different people. Your way is no better than mine. Ultimately, and my way is, is no better than yours. You know, but ultimately, surely the, the, the number one aim, the aim of all of this, regardless of whatever methods you use, is that people stay abstinent from gambling. And whether that be going to Gamblers Anonymous, whether that be listening to me ramble on and on and on, whether that be reading stuff on the internet, whether that be doing all the you know the, the functional blocks and all of that sort of thing, whatever your whatever your strategy, or going to counselling like I did, you know whatever your strategy for quitting gambling, if it's working, it's working and keep doing it, you know. And if you're going to GA, and it's working for you. That's great. You know, I'd love to hear from you. Um, but like I say, it wasn't a, a criticism of GA as a whole. It was purely the reasons why I didn't get on board with it, why I didn't find it very useful in my recovery, um, and why I, I chose other methods, which touch wood are, are being successful so far. So thanks for watching this video. If you've got any comments, good or bad, stick them in the, uh, the comment section below, and obviously I'll try and uh, try reply to you. Um, and on that note, whatever your methods, whatever you're doing, have a great gamble-free day. Um, stay that way. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. See you soon, guys.